In this video, you will learn how to create a new model, add parts, and save it. If you do not have SnapCAD installed, pause the video and install it now. Once installed, open SnapCAD. Begin by adding a few parts, then learn other ways to find parts you are looking for. From the Main Bar toolbar, select Open. Browse to the SnapCAD directory. Then the folder Hero Models. All of the VEX IQ Hero Models have been included within SnapCAD. Click VREX. Select File, Save As. When the Save File window appears, select a suitable directory and name your project VREX Changed. Click Save. Notice that the title bar now displays the project's new name. Next, we will find another part and add it to the project. In the Part Preview pane, select the drop-down list. Scroll up and select VEX Control System. We have now changed the Part Preview pane's category. Left-click and drag the VEX Controller part from the Part Preview pane into the front pane of the Drawing and Viewing panes, to the left of the VREX. We will now search for one final piece to add to the project. Right click in the Parts Tree pane. Select Find. Note, you may also use the button combination Control plus F. The Search Part window appears. Type VEX Smart Cable 60 into the Search For field and click OK. The correct part is now selected in the Parts Tree pane. Click and drag the VEX Smart Cable 60CM from the Part Preview pane into the front pane of the Drawing and Viewing panes, to the right of the VREX. Using the button combination Control plus S, save your model. In this video, you learned how to create a new model, add parts, and save it. In the next video, you will learn about zooming and panning. Open SnapCAD Zoom and Pan to begin. In this video, you will learn about basic part and project manipulation. From the main bar toolbar, select Open. Browse to the SnapCAD directory, then select the folder Hero Models. Open AutopilotRobot.LDR. Click and hold in the 3D Drawing and Viewing pane, located on the bottom right. Because we have selected the 3D pane, it is outlined in red. While the left click is held, the model displays in bounding boxes. Moving your mouse while holding down the button will rotate the model within the pane. When you release the button, the model will recenter with your newly selected orientation. If you hold down Shift, then press and hold left click, you can pan the model. Panning works in all four drawing and viewing panes. You can also pan the model by holding down the scroll wheel and dragging. Right click in the left view pane. Note, because we have selected the left pane, it is outlined in red. Select scroll bars. These scroll bars also enable you to pan the model. Right click in the left view pane. Select scroll bars again to eliminate them. There are a few ways to zoom in and out on the model. The quickest and easiest is by using your scroll wheel. Pulling the scroll wheel towards yourself will zoom the model out. Pushing the scroll wheel away from yourself will zoom the model in. If your mouse does not have a scroll wheel, you may hold down Control plus Shift plus left click. Dragging will now zoom the model in and out, much like the scroll wheel. You may have noticed that zooming with these commands only zooms one of the panes. If you are trying to add a new part to your model, it is often beneficial to reset all of the zoom levels together. Use the Zoom Bar toolbar. As indicated by the numbers in the Zoom Bar, you can resize all four panes with various sizes. Select 100. The last icon, with no number included, is the Fit icon. It uses the pane space available to create the largest zoom possible, without cutting off any of the project. Try a few of the zoom levels to get a feel for it.
In this video, you learned about zooming and panning. In the next video, you will learn about the selection of parts and what you can do with them. Open SnapCAD Model Manipulation to begin.